It doesn't matter how, where, when, or why. If you're part of today's global communications network, an IEEE standard almost invariably made that connection possible. Once the privilege of a chosen few, communication is now one of our most basic necessities. Consider this. In our modern world, we give no more thought to texting or Skyping a friend on the other side of the planet than we do to walking down a street or taking a breath of air. For us, it's a simple matter of click and go. And yet, whole populations around the globe still seek this seamless, limitless connectivity. This anywhere, anytime communication is only possible because of multiple layers of physical hardware, as well as invisible communication and information technology. All facilitated by interoperable standards, the result of an open, collaborative, consensus process, organized and managed by IEEE. It's hard to imagine a product that we would put out today which touches communication and doesn't touch an IEEE standard. If you look at engineering today, the discipline, in general and uh, versus probably a decade or two or three decades ago, it's not just the people that are fairly senior in the organization that are aware of standards. It's everyone throughout the organization, throughout the value chain. Just a few decades ago, only a handful of companies tilled the communications landscape, so it made sense that they stipulated the technical requirements. Today, that landscape is populated by hundreds, even thousands of companies, which might start out in obscurity and go on to become the next big idea. Today, more than ever, we need comprehensive, interoperable standards to bring these big ideas to reality. This is the mandate of IEEE. For Huawei, in the beginning, a more 电信设备制造业的时候，一定要学习，呃，业界制定的比较好的标准。我们通过学习这个标准呢，我们缩短了和我们的竞争对手的一些差距，呃、这个是有助于华为的进一步成长的。我们相信呢，制定好的标准是一定会推动这个整个产业。Because of its unique non-profit, non-commercial status. IEEE is able to provide the fairest, most balanced, and most logical approach for standards development, bringing together a community of experts from around the world to arrive at common definitions that ensure best practices become the norm, serving as a vital incubator for new, cutting-edge technologies and innovations. Uh, we look at standards as an integral part of uh, the product portfolio, and. Um, in many cases, we, uh, uh, we embrace open, the open standard and then uh, build on top of it or innovate on top of an open standard. And that's a really, um, that's a really um, uh, interesting way to go with, um, with technology because that means that you can build products that are open and interoperable and still be able to add your flavor or color on top of it um, in certain areas. While we can guess at what's next, a few key directions point the way forward. For example, you'll soon be able to control every device in your home for optimal energy efficiency. You'll have wireless internet access anywhere, anytime. Now imagine nanoscale devices that can go into the human body and communicate with our doctors to help make us well. These are just a few of the exciting new areas where IEEE communication standards are driving what's next and paving the roadway that lies ahead. The thing about an IEEE standard is once it's done and it's printed, it's accepted around the world unquestioned because of the rigor that went into the creation of it. IEEE standards are the way to shape the technical world. We're here to help you bring great ideas to commercial success. IEEE standards are all about consensus, and we build it.